Ben Reynolds is a very talented artist. His studio walls are lined with as many wonderful paintings, but scattered here and there, he'll say, oh, that's one of my students' paintings. His passion for what he does is so great that he shares that talent with as many students, old and young alike. change the color of the tree right here in the middle of it. Oh yeah, I like that. Gotta get it started here. Started. Well, I think the very first painting that I did was when I was about, I don't know, four or five years old, and I got a spanking for it. I did it on the bedroom wall. Okay, so, so I, that was a kind of a, the beginning of my art career, I guess. Throw color on there. Yeah. Look at this. Wow. I've always remembered drawing. And I, you know, just uh, from when I was a kid, I would watch people draw in my family, my uncles and different people that uh, would, would sketch. And I could, I could draw uh, portraits, but they wouldn't look like any particular person. But I could draw it out, especially the profile. My, uh, medium that I use is oils and also acrylics. I'm fascinated with, uh, with how oils work uh, because they stay wet. I have plenty of time to do what I want with them. I can blend and you know as they, they blend together I can create unique unique scenes. I love painting nature and I love finding how light affects color and how light affects the, the shading and the, how, how it affects the depth. But I am still discovering it and that's, that's why I say that uh, my best paintings are yet to come and I continue to progress. If, if, I, if I stopped and said, okay, I've reached, I've reached the, where I should be in painting, then it wouldn't be, it would be boring. I go over to the nursing home, the Little Sisters, because I feel good around my elders. I, I was raised that you should respect your elders. Get these girls ready. Okay. Mary. Mary. Why did, you just Another look like a, Mary. you look like a Mary. Why didn't I guess that right? So if somebody tries to steal your painting, your name's on it, Rita. 2015, because that'll be a masterpiece. And these these ladies are special to me because uh, they remind me of my childhood. And there's that little child in all of us. And I like that feeling. I like being a child sometimes. Oh, look at that. Margie did it in. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a seascape, okay, today. So I want you just to follow along and we'll do it step by step, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a line and try to make it parallel as, you, as much as possible. It's not gonna be perfect, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're not looking for perfection, we're looking for beauty. We're looking for beauty. Just start with a line. That's gonna be our horizon line. When I heard that Ben was coming to give, uh, it's called creative therapy classes, I was very excited. And so this will be my fifth time, I believe, uh, attending his classes. and. I have enjoyed it thoroughly. Nobody makes mistakes with Ben. Everybody has their own creative way of doing things. And it's just been very, very uh, enjoyable for me. Some people are mechanically inclined, but until somebody hands them a screwdriver, like I hand a, a new student this paintbrush, and start to teach them how to use the tools of the trade, they're never gonna learn. So I believe, I'm not a believer in self-taught, per se, I, I think we all need each other, see? That's why I believe, and that's just my opinion. I teach because I wanna share what I have with other people so they can share it, so I can have a legacy when I'm gone. Oh, I love this. You, you, you get, you're showing, some of the canvas is showing some uh, style. It looks like the old French Impressionist. 
Very good, very good. Looks like a Monet. Yes, yes, Van Gogh. I paint because I want to communicate with people. I want to reach your heart and your soul. I want you to get something out of my painting, something that'll cheer you up when you've had a bad day. I want, I want to uh, make people feel like they're worth something. I want to see, I want to see in my paintings, this is my inspiration. In my paintings, I, I, want, I want to see the world turn to love, love one another. I hope my paintings can just, just share with people that inside, inside of here is where it's all at. And that's, that's my, my heart's desire, is that people will learn to, to get along and love. And I hope my paintings help that way. The best painting I've ever done has yet to be, because I've always said that the, the best is yet to come, and it still is. I'm still progressing.